girl. What's, what are you paying for the weekend? I'm you talking just oh. me, You just made me feel my game. Anyway, Femi is visiting, so I'll be hanging out with him and his girlfriend. Uh-huh. That's great. I guess you have a weekend full of fun ahead of you. I like me. <laughs> what do you say so? I have classes on Friday and Saturday till 7 p.m. And I don't have time to do anything. Uh, and you come down for Sunday now. Oh. Uh, I'm resting. Sunday time to rest. <laughs> <laughs> but you haven't come to church since we came here. But I know you watch someone online. You can at least come once. You may end up liking it. I'm done with church. Everything church. I won't step my foot in church ever again. Oh. So, no thanks. Calm down. It's okay. To start. Just let her be for now. Fine. Anyway, I have to pick Femi from the airport. So, okay. I'll see you when I come back. We have a lot to talk about. Bye. Okay, Bye. see you later. Thank you. Well, that went well. But you know, we are just worrying about you. You haven't been to church since I met you, and it's not good. Even the Bible says we should not neglect the gathering of the believers. I know that, Benny. I won't go to church anymore. I've made up my mind. It's simple. But why, though? The church hurt me. Kiss like three times. The witness's statement is not even correlating with what he said before. And these people will still make us go back to this this same thing. Oh. I don't know how come the jury is not even picking out these simple mistakes. I'm just tired. I'm tired. Oh, it's your lawyer and self every time, every time. I came to visit you for cannot lie. You couldn't even get me water. How to go and get myself in juice? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, no. Eva, <sighs> how was your journey? Just fine. Just fine. Sorry, my day has just been summer. I'm sorry I didn't come to pick you up. I'm sorry. Oh, you're busy. Don't worry, my sister came to pick me up. She says hi, though. Mm, thank you. I'm fine. But then you look worried. Is it, is it a journey or is it something else? No, it's not a journey. Come on, Maida. I'm really worried about you. About me? Yeah. I'm fine. Why are you worried? We dated you for a year now. And you haven't stopped your foot in the church. Okay, we know you do go to online services and the rest. But at least you can't neglect the soil. You got no believers. We've talked about this thing and I think I've mentioned it. The church should be legal to me. I, I cannot get myself to walk into the church again. I, I can't. You've been saying the church hold you, the church hold you, the church hold you. At least tell me, how did they hold you? Okay. You really want us to have this discussion? Yeah, of course. Is it first? Let's make dinner after dinner. I promise to tell you everything. Sure. I'm serious. All right, no more. Let's go make dinner. Go first. I'll tell you. How far? Oh, cool. Hi, Simi. Femi is fine. He asked about you and he said I should greet you. And I told him we are going to see him tomorrow since it's a public holiday, so don't forget to. Perfect. It's good that he's visiting because now finally I have someone to play chess with, not you dummies. Did you just call us dummies? Yes, big ones. <laughs> hey, okay, there's no problem. You'll be left with us again, don't worry. You'll be left with us again. Welcome back, Senorita. How was the retreat? Well, that was amazing. You should have attended. 
told you I don't do church anymore. Ah, all right, that's fine. But you still need to explain us why. I'm going to change every bag. Yes, you wish. So what's it in you? Yeah, you said it shows her to and honestly that statement carries weight. She said that? Yeah. So do you mind sharing? You know a problem share is half said. Yeah, that's true. I was hurt by the church. And I don't want to be around the church anymore. And I don't want to even face the judgmental eyes of the folk there. So, that's it. Wow, that's really serious. <laughs> okay, so what happened? I don't want to know where to start. Or where to start. But I will start from middle school, actually. So, Vanessa, how are you? I'm fine. You don't look fine. Your friends brought you here because they were worried about you. Is there anything you mind sharing with me? Don't worry. A problem shared is a problem half solved, okay? I have this issue. Uh, I didn't tell anyone and I was scared that I would be punished. My darling, this is a Christian school, okay? And you're in the counselor's office. I'm a friend. Whatever you say to me stays exactly here and I'm here to help you in all your troubles. You don't have to be scared. You don't have to be ashamed of anything. I'm here for you, okay? I need help. Uh, I've been abused sexually for many years now and I'm destroyed. My self-esteem is bad. And I feel worthless and filthy. And for some, some time ago, I was abused in this school. So I need help. Wow, I'm sorry for that. Don't cry, honey. Take some tissue, okay? It's okay, everything is going to be all right. And if I may ask, was there a student that abused you? I was your son. Oh my God. It's okay, everything is going to be all right. You'll be fine, okay? Thank you for opening up, okay? We'll talk tomorrow. I'll get back to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. All right. Huh. Uh -huh. Hello, ma. Yes, good afternoon, ma. Yes, ma, we have um, a student who was involved in, in an immoral act this afternoon. Yes, she just left my office. Okay, we'll meet tomorrow and discuss about it. All right, by two o'clock. Okay, ma, see you tomorrow. Yes, ma, thank you very much. All right, bye-bye. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, Vanessa, I'm so, so sorry. Yeah, I wish it was the end, but it doesn't end here. It gets worse. Okay, um, since we are all here right now, let's begin immediately. Um, Vanessa, do you know why we're here? No, I don't. All right. So, you know your case that you told me recently? Yes, it started as a counseling issue, but since a student was involved, we, I had to, like, involve the principal, and that's why we are gathered here today to discuss and settle everything. How? I told you what I was going through because I didn't want to tell anyone. Look, Vanessa, this is us helping you. We called your parents here so we can let them know, so they'll be aware, so that they can also be of help. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you. Uh, I'm pretty sure they fine this way. No, you okay. Don't make me go bang my to go see my mom. Anyway, um, the principal has already provided a solution and. Here we are. Yeah, so, um, Vanessa, I'm really sorry that this has to have happened to you, but as much as we would like to help you, we can't exactly keep you in the school because 
This is a Christian school and we cannot have a student who has been involved in immorality still staying in the school because we're not sure whether you can corrupt the other students and other things. So, <sighs> to that effect, I think it is best we advise your parents to find a new school for you. This is the best that we can do at this moment. I'm really sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Everything is good. I'm so sorry, Vanessa. You shouldn't have gone through that. Exactly. Your trust has been betrayed in the worst way. I still can't wrap my head around this whole stuff. I'm so sorry. Yo, babe. That food was so sweet. I think I should come visit you more often. Hey, man. Just <sighs> So it's only the food for you. Oh, no, no. You don't know what I'm doing. From them, yeah. Anyway, now that the food is out of the way. It's only food, food, food for you. Let's talk. Okay. So your question, what was your question? Yeah. How did the church hold you? Everything just happened about three years ago, exactly three years. Mommy, please. <laughs> Mommy, please. <laughs> Maida. <laughs> Maida. It's mom. How many times did I call you? Well, so you've, you've, you've chosen to just bring disgrace and shame. It's not like that. Hi! Mother, you're pregnant. Can you listen to yourself when you're pregnant? How? Mommy, you're not understanding me. I don't even have a boyfriend. Then how? Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? But are you not pregnant? Mommy, I was telling you the other night that I was come pregnant. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Will you shut up, Mr. Come on, Mommy, you raped me. You did raped you? What? That's not true. You are the cause. I'm very sure you are the cause. Oh. I'll be warning you. You have to <laughs> learn how you drive. Dress the scent. Will you never listen? Will you never listen? You never listen. You never listen. Leave me alone. Look at this girl. Mommy, I was just putting on a jeans trousers and a sweater. Mommy, I was just a sweater. A sweater. And I'm very sure even the jeans that you're wearing, so all these ripped jeans, they will see your skin. They will see your body. You're wearing my clothes for me. That's not true. That go with them. Ah, go with them with witness. See my clothes I'm wearing. See me. Go with them with witness. What do you mean? See, my dad, you have to go. <laughs> There's no two ways about you. You're leaving my house. I can't even sleep with you. I didn't ask this girl. Stop going, stop going. Stop going, stop going. I said she stopped going. You had, you had disgrace. It's not that this girl will disgrace. It's not even me. I will disgrace before you disgrace me. I, mean, I didn't even disgrace my mother. I mean, I my slippers. No, my phone. I mean, my, no, I mean, for my phone. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Did she even... Did she come with my phone? Where's my phone? Hey, I need to call pastor. Hey, God of mercy. What kind of disgrace is this one? Man? God, no, I've been trying my best. I've been trying... I need to call pastor. I know the worst part is that God was something is coming. I can't even attend again. I'm not supposed to attend it again. I'm not supposed to attend it again. No. I would have it on myself. They will laugh at me. <laughs> ah, pastor, come on here. <sighs> Pastor, pick your call. Pastor, pick your call. Hello, Pastor. Hello, Pastor. Yes, it's me. It's me, Pastor. Pastor, please, I need help. I need help. Okay. I'm trying to calm down. This is my daughter. That's Todino. Eh? I don't even know in this my family. Who is now the head of the family? I mean, the head is not the tail, and the tail is not the head. We don't even have head. Praise the Lord, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Um, well, it has come to my attention that uh, a member of this church is pregnant. Mm. Myra, please come forward. You were so faithful in church and had a very promising future. How could you let this happen? Well, this should serve as an example to all the young ladies in church and also to the parents. Please take good care of your daughters so they don't fall victims of immorality. Thank God she's not my daughter. Thank God she's really not your daughter. What an abomination that could have been. Well, so due to this, 
Maida will be exempted from all church activities so she doesn't corrupt all the other young ladies in church. You can go and sit down now. I am really sorry. This heartbreak pain and painful. Situation just made me so depressed and frustrated. I was homeless. Luckily for me, a friend and her family, they just took me in for for the time being because I didn't have anywhere to stay. Oh God, you are safe. What happened to the baby? I have a lot of complications. Malnutrition. I, would, I literally wasn't in the best state of mind. I was in the best place to have a baby. And I had a miscarriage and I lost the baby. Wow. 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 No, I can see it's why it's painful. Don't, don't, don't. I really wanted that child. No, don't, don't. Really... don't we'll push you together. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll put you together. Don't worry. And because of all of this, I mean, when I got the scholarship, I just left. I yeah, just yeah, left yeah. because I literally blame my stop mom. Crying, I blame the church crying, for all of crying, this. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. You got me now. So stop crying. Stop crying. It's okay. We'll put you together. Yeah? Don't worry. Thanks, babe. Thank you. Guys, Femi said he's almost here. He's coming with his best friend and his girlfriend. Let's see the piece. Oh, that's cool. The mom, the Mary. <laughs> Say the person who was supposed to help me cook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that should be there. Yo! <laughs> How are you? How you doing? I'm good. I miss you. you Hi, Marita. Yo, hey. Vanessa, I did. It's like this. It's like this. What's up, baby? Hello. 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 Thank you. So these are my best friends, mm -hmm. Benny and Vanessa. Wow. Yes. Nice to meet you both. Nice to meet you too. I'm Kwame. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Welcome to our home. So great. Thank you. Okay. Suspension for you. General markets. Mm. Oh. General market, more than good market. Oh, okay. yeah. No, no, no. Give, give him to, give him to, give him to. Carry, two. Carry, carry, carry two. Uh, <laughs> Should be one now, general market. You made a mistake now. It's general, uh, general, general market. Yeah. You made a mistake. Just pay. Pick, pick, pick yours also. Don't waste pick my time. Pick now. I'll pick. Okay. You, you, because I'll give me an I beg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you play. Uh, okay. Um, I just remembered, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, this coming Sunday, we have mm -hmm. a particular program in my church. And I want you all to be present there. No. Would you like to go? Please, Vanessa. Huh? Just try it. If you feel uncomfortable, we can, we can live together. I'm not so sure about that. Why are you not sure? What's going on? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. What about you? Are you coming with Femi? I don't think I'm coming. <laughs> You don't have to if you don't want to. Yes, At least just try going with you. Me, I'm scared. There's no issues. I'll be with you the whole time. It shouldn't be. What's going on? It's just a Sunday service. Nothing more. So, it is for me, but not for Maida. Same here. It's okay for me and Benny, but not for Vanessa. Yeah, that's why we're asking her if she wants to go. But why? The church had me. And I stopped going to church. Are you serious? The same thing here. I haven't actually been in church for almost three years. I can't get to go. Maybe. I see. But you can give it a try this coming Sunday by attending the service. And after that, you are going to see that what I'm trying to say is real. Because the church here yeah, also heals me from my pain. Why? Back then, I also was haunted by the church. I stopped going to church. I stopped attending service. But until when one of my friends also told me that 
that is not the end of life. That is not the end of everything. So he invited me to the church. Then after the service, the man of God spoke with me and I explained everything then. Everything was fine. And now I'm always in the church always. So you can also give it a try and see. You give it no try. So, are you guys promising me to be there on Sunday? Me too. Promise? Promise. Promise. Wow. Let's get back to the game. So, let's get back to our game. Just one minute. No, it was mine. I wanted no, to, it's my I wanted to give you. It's my turn to clean. Ah, okay. <laughs> The church is not a building, it is the people. This is a statement we have either heard from someone or said to someone. But we never really digest what that statement entails. When someone says the church heard them, it just means someone in the church heard them, not the building. We need to remember that the church is not a museum of good people, but a hospital for the broken. It means that people come to church to find healing, peace, Jesus, and a solution to what they are going through. But most of the time, the way we approach them can drive them out of church instead of pulling them into church. Proverbs 12, 18 tells us, there is one whose rash words are like sword thrusts, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. This doesn't mean you agree with whatever sin they may have committed or are living in. It just means that how you rebuke or correct them must be tactful. Even Jesus was very tactful in his speech while condemning what is wrong. Colossians 4, 6 says, Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how you ought to answer every man. As believers, we need to be tactful when talking to people around us, because our words have the power to bring people into God's waiting arms or send them out of the church forever. Don't ever forget that at one point you were a sinner seeking God's mercy and forgiveness. Don't let your words hurt someone who is seeking healing from God. Because sometimes, the church is their last hope. Be tactful and welcoming to everyone, living your life as an example, because you might be the only Bible that someone would have the opportunity to read. If you are out there and you have been hurt by the church in any way, please know that it's okay to hurt, but don't let the hurt drive you away from the gathering of believers. Instead, surround yourself with people who love you and care about your well-being, both physically, mentally, and spiritually. For just as one person hurt you and made you leave the church, it only takes one person who is loving and understanding to bring you back. God is waiting with open arms for you to return back to Him. Remember, people can hurt you, but Jesus always heals our heart. But you know, we are just worrying about you. You haven't been to church since I met you. And it's not good. Even the Bible says we should not neglect the gathering of the believers. I know, Berlin. I've made up my mind. I won't go to church anymore. It's simple. You call me Berlin. <laughs> 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 Take care of yourself. Don't be sad. It's all going to be okay. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for it. Thank you, girl. I didn't say thank you for your wonderful time. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. Take care of yourself, okay? Put some pressure on your brain. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you, Nasabies. Nasabies. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Sophia. Did you manage to give more for Sophia? Which face? The sad, broken, sad, broken disappointed. <laughs> we are still rolling. So yeah. imagine you just get the news that you have been expelled from school. How do you react to that naturally? So yeah, give us, give us. Uh, are you ready? Hey, silence or set. Where are we starting from? From her, the facial expression she gives after that news. Action. Hey, hey, hey cut. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dinner, eh? I don't know if it's my family. Who is not the head of the family? I mean, the head is not the tail, and the tail is not the head. We don't know how head it is. <laughs> no, it was mine. I wanted, no, to, my I wanted to give you my tongue to give you. Okay, oh, thank you. Oh, God, girlfriend. 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 Girlfriend.